Okay, let's see if this is recording. Yes, Drake here about to sneeze. A couple of things going on. Sorry for the long disappeared for almost a month. It's actually the 11th of March, and for March, a lot has changed. Um, I'm here at Orbit, and we got hit by the, probably the same ransomware that hit NVIDIA. Because we have a lot of NVIDIA cards here, because they're one of the more cheaper cards for very low budget, but actually good graphics. And I should say, just bringing up a 30, a 10 year old computer up to spec, so that way it'll run YouTube and run Windows animations and all that fun stuff. Actually, no, uh, this is probably why we'll probably just play buying new computers going forward. Uh, it's, it's better that way. But yeah, we got hit really bad. They nailed it on the 23rd in the morning. And I was here when the hacker actually came onto my machine, tried to connect in on a remote terminal, but he was doing RDP bouncing. I think there was at least four or five people because they clobbered the entire network within a few hours. And by the time I was able to check the server, I see what was going on, which was three in the morning. It was way too late. When I finally got Hansel at seven in the morning, we terminated everything and we started rebuilding from backups. And we realized that our login server may have been hosed months before. We don't know how bad it was because it booted up. It loaded Windows with our database of emails. And that's when things kind of got a little wonky. It's like, I don't know. He's had issues with uh, ADS and multi-master, which is something that I've done in the past, but I've always had really bad luck with multi-master AD. I just have one master and the other ones are only read-only for two reasons. One, they're only read-only, which actually tricks a hacker. If they try to get into one of the other ones, you have a, a small chance of actually killing the connection before they cause irreversible re damage. So not exactly sure how he got in. I figured he got in through one of the service accounts. We scrambled all the passwords for service accounts now. Because local admins might be known, but you can only get so far on a computer. Network admins can crawl across the network. So that's where things get a little wonky. We think it was the B user because the B user was logged in around the same time on many other machines. B user was only supposed to be used for backups, but we've been having all sorts of authorization problems and things like that. So yeah, I'm, we're still trying to run back of exec, but their support almost didn't even support us because we had one major release behind. 2021 release was this year. So they're like, we can't help you because you're not using the 2020 release. We're using the 20 release from the 2020 release. And that was the last release to support Windows 2008. That's where things get really wonky. So we terminated that server, rebuilt that server, put in a new login server, re-authenticated all the machines, we re-wiped all the machines because they all had ransomware, killed it all, destroyed all the files. My machine was luckily I was here, I was able to kill the connection and, and take it offline before it got any further past the uh, network. Um, but yeah, it was uh, literally a mess. I we are now up and running well enough. We have people working on the accounting there's still some funky things going on but as long as a permission lock lock everyone out by default i feel much better that there is no back doors left in but you know like i said we reloaded all the machines the only ones we recovered are the ones running databases as we're slowly rebuilding the database and trying to put it back together um some data was missing because we lost two days of daily since our daily backups are stored locally and anyone who did a local backup on their machine apparently is hosed too because this ransomware was at the mft level so it actually took out a lot of stuff and that means it actually went network to network through rpc is what i suspected but since we put in a new login server our ad level is much higher it still authenticates the majority of our computers on our network there are a few machines that are going to be completely taken permanently offline uh, bell schedulers and stuff like that they're Windows XP machines that are kind of garbage. Uh, I've got electronic timers to replace them on one of the weekends. So I've got a schedule of a ton of stuff to rebuild. But right now I'm just going through all the machines, making sure they got the proper software drivers. Everyone's got something different, whether it's a scanner on their desk or some other thing that they decided to buy and want me to make work. So a lot of cleanup to do, but um, we're making progress. This week we should be live next week. I should be able to get in early and start running around and closing this office up and go to the other office in Bell Gardens and get that cleaned up for a few days. That should be able to take care of most of that. There shouldn't be anything else I foresee to be a problem. Um, we're just watching everything, rebuilding everything from the ground up.
As far as private biz, the squeak biz, um, there's been some quotes I've been passing around. Um, I might act on it this week, next week. It just depends on how I feel. I want to get some book work done. Um, River Coon's a bit busy, but I want to try to convince him that if you're having so much inventory problems that you can't even walk into your inventory. I says, let's go to Walmart or to Target. Let's put down like two, three hundred dollars worth of shelving material. Let's get some shelving in. This will be done. I'll get there around lunchtime if I can, early in the morning. Probably not this Sunday because he's tired of teasing church in the morning. We can do that. I bet you two. Uh, here I bought three shelves and that stores a lot of stuff. I says, let me get you one, two, three, four, one. Let's see, there are five or six tier shelves. Um, get six tier shelves. Get about three of them like I did for the office. This was only three of them. And that's actually a lot of shelving. That's about a, about $200, $300 worth of shelving right there. And that's actually enough that I would not be surprised at his little space that he has that has a lot of stuff will actually be walkable and we can start cataloging stuff and you can do inventory. I think three of them is good enough. I'll cover it and keep it on lease. We'll make a trade off because he's got, I got Wi-Fi in the back room for him. We relay the internet and I may bring a printer, a Wi-Fi printer and a old laptop or something I can jump and put together. It's decent enough to print labels and we can work back there. And if I cut a deal with him, I'll maybe I'll get a fourth shelf where I can put Drake's toys in there and just say, I'll just print it out remotely on the printer or send you the labels on email and you can pull it up there. It's just a ricky, ricky business, but hey, it'll at least get us going and I could probably move forward without having to worry because I can't do everything, but at the same time, I can coordinate and make sure things are done correctly. And surprisingly, a lot of people are actually surprised at how much I do know. So I kind of want to turn it this way. He looks better that way. There you go. He's wrong. But yeah, there's a lot of cute, dirty stuff I still got. And there's a lot of stuff I may just start to sell. I had a few offers on some statues for 100 bucks. I should just took in it, take it out of it because those things weigh a ton. And as much as I love them so much, I need to start thinking of getting the heck out of Dodge because California got my bonus, but wasn't as big as I expected. So. We'll see, there's supposed to be some overtime hours put in, so we'll see for the last two weeks. Because I'm still just catching up on Z's now that things are running. Um, I'll probably be working on the VPN and some of the other side stuff tonight and get those cleaned out remotely. So once those are cleared, woohoo, things hopefully will be back to normal, but people are going to complain, missing this, missing that. We're still recovering emails. That's taking a while. I'm using a third-party recovery tool to extract it out of the uh, mail store. Um, because we've been having problems with that mail store. The good news is I can put, bring the mail store online. The bad news is it has to be on an isolated network. So we don't know if it's got a worm or something in that machine. But either way, um, as soon as it's a green light, I'll toast. Uh, I'll probably uh, uh, kill disk it and either recycle it. The hard drives are still good. They're actually fast SAS and SATA drives. Uh, or I think it's got a bad PCI slot. Otherwise, I'd probably load a 10G card on there and make that one the host machine for backup exec. But I'm actually thinking of switching the backup software into this year because backup exec gave us so much problems and it still is. There's a couple of machines that I'm actually doing what they call VDP, uh, uh, virtual to uh, physical, physical to virtual conversions. That's impressive. It can do that. It can go through drivers hell and actually rewrite the driver database. I've seen stories of that and I've accidentally done it myself where I've taken a bootable machine that stuck it onto a NAS and was going to format the drive and realize the NAS booted up Windows. I'm like, this ain't right, but it's still fun to see that it's got an x86 core. It'll run Win 10. So... That puts the shell some of the adventures, but I'm going to go to the other room and try to finish up the other machines for a few hours today for at least another hour. It depends if I get to it because it seems to be a lot of tedious work to do that. Um, but I'll get it done. I'm just not as fast as yesterday for some reason. Today I'm just so unenergetic because of the crap. And the traffic today was just plain shit. <laughs>